Welcome to Random and Desperate. Well, today I've took the opportunity to look around Withington. So my mum's having cancer treatment at the moment. So I'm going to give the opportunity to have a look around, see what things I can discover. I'm outside now, if you look here. I am outside Manchester Christie's Research Centre which is just opposite, if you can see in the distance, opposite Christie's Hospital. Now I must admit, Christie's has really helped my mum out. I've had a bit of good news today, which we always like good news, that my mum, her cancer treatment is doing really well. She developed lumps on the side of her neck and I've been told today after she's had a CT scan that her cancer has reduced massively so her treatment's going really well so i cannot be thankful enough of christie's for helping for saving her life for extending her life say so she's 76 year old and it's first time ever she's been in ever been in hospital but thanks to christie's up to now everything's going well Here we are, outside of Manchester, Christie's Hospital. Now, Christie's Hospital is the number one cancer treatment in Europe. And an interesting fact for you here, it was the first ever x-ray in the world done at this particular hospital. Wivington, now in modern times, mostly dominated by students. A lot of students live around the Wimington area in little tiny little flats, in terraces, all sharing the same bathroom, overcrowding. But I suppose you have to, you have to start somewhere. Now I did a quick look on Google search and there's not much history I can find in Wimington. But we'll go to the main centre We'll have a look, see what we can find. Any shops? And I do, I must admit, I do need an aircut. I really do. Look at this old building here. It looks like a school. Let's have a look in here. Was it a school? Wimington Church School. 1860, 1896. Now there is an old church here, but we're going to check this old church out. Let's have a walk around this church. I do like, I do like a lot of church walking. Now this is St Paul's in Wivington. Look at some of these graves. Eighteen eighty-one. Thomas Suckley, Mary, his wife. Still good ages then. Seventy, sixty. Still good ages. Beautiful building. I wonder if it's still in use. See, people don't go to church no more. So they can't make or upkeep these beautiful, wonderful buildings. It's oozing history. You think how many people have got married at this particular church? How many hotties has walked up to that aisle? Marvellous. Well, let's carry on. Let's carry on our journey. See what else we can discover in the town of Wivington, which is in Manchester. And I think it's, I would say it's nearly central Manchester. When you look ahead, you can see Sainsbury's local. Now that used to be a pub, what's called the White Lion. It's one of the oldest pubs in Wivington. An absolute disgrace, it's turned into Sainsbury's. Problem is now, it's too dear. The pubs are too dear, so they're shutting down. And they're turning into flats, shops, as you can see. I 
things have changed. Hey, look, look at that, look at that tower. Look at that clock tower on the top. The symbols. Shame. Hi fella, you okay? I'm good mate, how are you doing? Now tell me, next door, is that is that a good barber's? One of the best in the Whittington village. Is it? Trust me, okay. we do, my son, me, my brother, all go there. Ah, right, okay. We've been in nearly over a year. Yeah. Fantastic job. The barbers are brilliant, do yeah. a proper job. I'm going to get my hair completely shaved. That's see. it, that's it. I'm just hoping he lets me vlog it. That's it, you can, you can, no, no problem. No problem, I appreciate that. Thank fella. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, I've just been into that shop to get myself a drink. And he recommend that I have a haircut, a clean shave. So what I'm gonna do, next video, you will see me have a haircut. Have all my hair shaved. Let's just get across this road so I don't kill myself. Less blogging, more surviving. I believe this is a library years ago. If you look at the structure, if you look at the bars, gives it away, an old library. Let's have a look. Wivington Library. Now, does anybody actually use libraries no more? Because me personally, when I want to read a book, I just download it online. I've got to find something to eat, to be honest with you. Let's find something interesting to eat. It must be somewhere unique and special. Wilson's Best Bitter. Yeah, they don't exist no more. The local poison shop. Beautiful building, there's no doubt. Beautiful building. Wilson Brewery, I think it ceased in the 80s, 80s, 90s, what I believe. Best Bitter, Real Ale. I used to be a real ale drinker, to be honest with you. But since I'm trying to reduce, let's just be honest with you, trying to reduce my alcohol by poison intake. That's why I don't really do much drinking except sugar drinks. Good thing about not drinking is I've lost round about a stone in weight. But I'm not gonna give it up to be honest with you. I'm not gonna give it up. Have you seen? <laughs> I've just had my hair cut. But you've got to watch the next video to, to see that. I recommend that barber 100%. Recommend it. Well, I need something to eat now. I've done my blogging around the streets of Wivington. I need food. I'm a man. Let's find somewhere different. Remember, we'll go independent. That's been independent shop, independent cafe or I won't be going in. See what we can find. Now, we're gonna get something to eat. Now, I've been recommended this store. Wildness Record Shop. It's actually a cafe as well, so let's go in and be interesting. Are you okay? Are you? Now, now, let's tell you what, this looks an interesting cafe, coffee shop, would you call it? Yeah, bar, venue as well. Wow. I was going to give her a tip, but I seem to be running out of... I've only got about 80p. Yeah, I've got about, only got 80p in cash-wise. Can I leave that for you? I know it's all it's all my change, oh, no, That's for you.
I think I'm in your aircon. Back to Christie's now to rescue my mother from her treatment. This is the last treatment and we've had a bit of good news that her cancer treatment is going really, really well. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. I hope you enjoyed this little mini adventure with myself. And if you're from Wimington or you know the area, or you, let me know in the comments, okay? Let me know. I'll see you next time for another random and desperate adventure.